What does it take to get French citizenship? Well, I hope I know. I'm applying for it right now. And if you'd like to know what it takes to become a French citizen, maybe you're thinking about leaving a United States of some America, or you, you know, just are interested in becoming French. I'll at least tell you what the starting of that start of that process looks like, and then I'm gonna carry it through for the next year, year and a half. We'll see how long it takes, but it starts with printing some stuff. Well, that's, that's a map. This is the world's worst printer. I hate this thing. Multiple technical issues later, I have my uh, convocation for my French language test tomorrow, my Delph B1 language test, and I'm only a little bit stressed out. I've never actually gotten my French language tested officially in Europe. I have a degree in it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything to the French. And I both have always kind of assumed where I was at level-wise, but also always been a little bit scared to find out officially because, well, what if I suck? <laughs> the thing is I'm probably pretty close to C1. The thing is the test only requires B1. Like you only have to have a B1 level to get your citizenship. And if you're unfamiliar with how this works in uh, European language, classifications, it's A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. And then I think that there's like technical classification beyond that. I'm not in terms of, I should probably look that up, but it doesn't matter for me today or for this whole process because all I need to do is prove that I am B1 to be certified to move forward with the application process. And then they'll find out how well I can speak in the interview after that. So it's first thing in the morning tomorrow. I'm gonna leave Cooper with Prushan tonight so that I can get out there first thing and he's taken care of, which is great. Thank you, Prushan, if and when you see this. But yeah, I got my fingerprints taken today. The uh, the old FBI fingerprints. I just needed to identify myself to make sure that I had, don't have a criminal record back in the States. And I will have to get that translated into French to prove, yeah, there's nothing to prove here. I just got my fingerprints taken for the FBI background check to prove that I don't have a criminal record in the States or discover, surprisingly, that I do. It's good, it feels very official. It's one of the steps in the process and I don't know, it's starting to feel very real. Like that's one of the first major pieces that I've had to just get into motion. It's exciting, it's starting to feel, it's starting to feel real. So today is uh, November 16th when I am recording this. My test is on November 17th. I'm really hoping to slam everything together in the next few weeks. That might be ambitious depending on how long it takes to get things translated, but I already have a bunch of documents gathered, ready to be translated. My hope is that I can fill everything out, get it done and get it submitted before I head to the States for Christmas. But even if I can't get it done until the end of the year, early next year, as long as it's done in January, there is a chance, there is a chance and I'll actually be able to get my French citizenship within the 2023 calendar year, which is pretty crazy. It would be amazing because that also means that I don't have to renew my visa again, which means I don't have to go to the prefecture again. At least for that, I have to go for this process, but it'll be different and it'll be for the last time. And then I will be set. I'll be able to stay in France forever Yay! if I so choose. I cannot wait. Very excited, lightly scared. This is gonna be a video about the beginning of the process and it's gonna take us a while, so there's lots to go through. But hey, uh, let me at least tell you what all is required to apply for French citizenship. Somehow I forgot to do that part. I didn't actually say what's required. It's pretty basic. You have to live here for five years, don't get caught doing anything illegal, pay your taxes consistently, and then maintain that visa until the whole process is over. So the five years isn't enough. You're gonna have to stay for six or seven years legally. And then I'll get into the checklist later in the video, about like all the actual documents and all it's it's really it's really fun. But first, I got I gotta pass this test. I slept through <laughs> I slept through my first alarm. Uh, thankfully, I set two. This testing bit it is early. I got up at uh, I should have gotten up at six thirty. I got up at six forty eight or something. Well, I could, we gotta go. It's time. To, I gotta get. I gotta tap. I gotta go. I'm a little nervous because you're always just a little bit like there's a lot riding on yeah. this and it takes a long time to organize these tests like a long time so if I screw it up it's gonna be bad yeah. for the process but otherwise I'll just wish I was in bed. A good omen. Oh. The gods smile upon us today. 
Oh, it's windy. I'm a long ways away from everything. We're pretty close to the edge of Paris here. Probably shouldn't film inside, considering it's a testing center. Kind of wishing that I'd had a little bit more to eat, but uh, here we go. Let's see if my French is good enough to become French. No pressure. Why did I say that out loud? The lady organizing everything is definitely more stressed than I am, at least. I don't know about everybody else, but uh, anyways, they're running a little bit late, so I asked if I could just run and grab something at the bakery. They pointed me towards a bakery that on Google Maps has like a one-star rating, so we're gonna see how that is like. Get a one-star pastry, and then uh, jumpstart the brain. I figured, you know, just pump some sugar into my brain before these tests. My oral exam is first, which I think I'm fine with. Gives me a chance to wake up a little bit more before the written exam, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Not worried about it. Whew. I just want to get it behind me. I was thinking this morning about how I'm ready for the testing phase to be over. Like I'm ready to get past having to renew stuff, having to prove things, having, you know, I want to belong here. Done, official, this is home. I don't want to have to have a visa, get my language tests, do all this stuff anymore. I just want to get to the next phase of my life. Huh, this looks like a bakery. All right, <laughs> let's try our one star bakery. You get it. Uh, moi je prends un pain au chocolat s'il vous plaît. I really wanted a Chasson aux Pommes, but that's a, that's a risky venture. When it comes to questionable bakeries, it's like my test for bakeries most of the time. So I got a pan of chocolat and since it was two euros minimum to use my card, I got some beignets, which were like tiny donuts. Fried dough with sugar, straight to the brain. That's right after. I'm pretty sure this was frozen once or twice in its life before it got to me. Whatever, it's bread and chocolate. Okay, let's rejoin our stressed out test proctors. Hopefully. I speak French well enough. I was gonna do a bathroom talk, but there are no mirrors in here. There is a toilet, just for proof, but oral part done. I feel good. Well, I hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the butt later, but um. That was easy. Like, all the parts of it. The talking part, they basically give you multiple subjects you have to speak on. One that you get to prepare, one you have to do on the fly, which is like a dialogue, and then part of it was just introducing yourself and talking about how you came to France and all that. I had them laughing with my story about when I first moved to Nice. So I have a pretty good, I have a pretty good feeling about how that went. And then the written part, I was done like with an hour to spare. So I sat there for 30 minutes doodling. I'd show you my doodles, but they took all my notes, so, you know. Oh, that was fun. It could come as a shock at some point. Like if I failed this, that'll, it'll be a wild shock. So my French is definitely good enough to be French. One step down, man, so many steps just coming into place right now. It's gonna take six weeks to get the results though. I need those before I can submit my dossier. So it seems like January is the earliest I'm gonna be able to submit my paperwork. I feel great after that. Like that's a real burden lifted. Obviously I don't know what the results are yet. Like not officially, but I, I I don't expect I got a perfect score because it's impossible to get perfect scores on literally anything in France. That's just part of becoming French too, I suppose, is accepting that as a reality. But I feel so good to have that behind me. I've been scared to get a language test done forever just because what if I'm not good enough, basically? And I've never needed one, so why bother? Not only did I just like walk through that, it's just so good to have it behind me, officially on record, done. Again, if I didn't pass that, I really don't deserve to be French. And I'll let you know what the scores are as soon as I know, but that'll be early next year. Unless they get it to me sooner, they're like, it's going to take at least six weeks. It's like, ah. Anyway, I better go get Cooper back. He's staying with Prashant, so we should go get Cooper and then let's go through the checklist and I'll tell you what all I actually have to get done to get this done. Oh, hello. All right, so I got my fingerprints done yesterday. This is just like the test sheet that she gave me as a souvenir. This, this it's kind of weird and I'm not gonna keep it. The point is, I have to turn in my actual fingerprints and curling them back because there's personal information on here, which the fingerprints already seem like pretty personal information, but gotta send that to the FBI. I went to their website, I'm filling out the form right now and saving for myself the address that I have to use to get it there. 
theoretically, assuming that it gets there in a few days, it'll take three to five days for them to process it, send me confirmation of that with my wrap sheet, which should be empty. And then I can use the downloaded version of that to get, I have to get it translated. You have to get so much stuff translated for this, it's kind of obscene. So I'll get these set off, and then the hard copy that they mail to me is what I'll actually turn in with my dossier. I'm probably using the term dossier a little bit much for those of you that don't live in France. I don't know if it's a weird term uh, anymore because my brain is Frankified a little bit, but basically it's your packet of information. It's all the information that you're putting in there, which has to include a lot of stuff. Let me finish clicking on the FBO processor, blah, blah, blah. Proceed to payment. Okay, so I have to pay. It's like, uh, I think it's like 18 bucks or something like that to do this. Is all my information correct? Okay, I just finished paying for this and I thought I'd, I have to go mail it, obviously. But before I do, I thought, let's take a second to actually look at everything that I need. I have in um, Trello, which is what we're using. I use a few different productivity tools, which I've never really talked about. We can talk about it at some point. But I also broke, I might be talking a little bit weird because I broke like the retainer. I have this four tooth retainer. I didn't realize it's a little chain. I broke it in the middle. It's dangling down and I can't stop playing with it. And I'm going to see the dentist tomorrow to get that taken care of before I accidentally like cut my tongue open or bite on it, whatever. Anyways, French citizenship. This is a 17 item checklist that I have right here. Let me, let me show you this. Look at, look at this. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, like, I need to make sure to get, I gotta fill out this form, send it in, I need my ID photos, I think my passport, a copy of that, and so this 55 euros is a, a Tom Fiscal is like, just a governmental fee, it's a way of like paying a tax and having proof basically. I need a copy of my Tite Jour, which is my identity right now, I don't know, I gotta look into this like justification of my nationality, which I'm guessing my passport will work for again. I don't know. Not all of this is super is super certain. The FBI record check is what I'm what I, I just ordered right now. I'm not gonna. Say, I want to check these off that I've done them, but I don't have to. I want to wait till I actually have them in the dossier. A cover letter is optional, but I'll probably do one. I need to do another notice. That another thing I need to fig, fill out. I have the form linked below. I need the copy of my landlady's passport along with a letter saying that I do live here. It's just the because I don't have a lease. Every time I need to prove that I live somewhere, I need uh, her. Proof, basically. My taxes for the last three years, that I already have, no problem. World of the situation fiscal, so it's a thing that's gonna prove that I, I've been paying my, not only have I been paying my taxes, but I'm okay. I am not underwater, thanks to my patrons and many of you out there who have supported me in many ways over the years. Thank you so much. Proof of my profession, which I'm hoping business documentation will count for. Proof that I have money, again, in a different way. That's just a kitif de ressources. So I'm gonna have to look into the, the details what the difference between those two are. And then my language test at B1 or above, which I am gonna check because I feel like I earned that one today. And I mean, not again, I don't wanna like suffer hubris and at any point here, but I mean, come on. Like, I gotta, how did I, how could I not pass that test? It's gonna be really embarrassing when I have to tell you that I didn't pass that test later. Anyway, today is two major steps. The hardest thing has honestly been just organizing this test because you have to book it like at least two months in advance and they do everything like on paper in a really archaic fashion. It's just, it was brutal. The offices themselves were very grim. <laughs> I mean, very grateful that I got that done today, but they, it was definitely just like the fluorescent light, you know, tiny white box testing center of your nightmares. So that's done, but getting that uh, lined up ahead of time was the biggest challenge. And then getting the FBI record check fingerprints that are gonna conform to standard, it cost a hundred bucks as well. And I will, I just printed off my proof. My timeline is kind of shifted. I was really hoping to have this done by the end of the year, but because it could take a while to get the test results back specifically from today. And maybe the FBI thing, although we'll see how that goes. Just playing it by ear, so I'm thinking maybe in another six weeks, I'll have this ready to submit, hopefully in January. But it's complicated because all these documents, especially the ones that have to be translated, like I didn't mark in here, for whatever reason I don't have in here, like I need my parents' birth certificates, their marriage certificate, my birth certificate, all that has to be translated into French along with the background check. All those translations have to be done within that three month period. Like all the documentation has to be fresh, which is incredibly frustrating because so much of it is absolutely immutable. Like I was only born once, it's not gonna change. But the way that the French see birth certificates for them, they're always updating your birth certificate with new information, like when you got married or anything like that. So they see it differently, which whatever, we're gonna get it figured out. So those are the windows of time I'm operating under. I'm still having a hard time talking, articulating with this little dangly chain in my mouth. I'm gonna keep you up to date on the rest of the process. I'll let you know, but I just wanted to give you, I, it's a really big deal. I've always wanted this and I'm really, really excited to finally, finally 
be actually on the road. Like obviously being here for five years and paying my taxes and staying out of jail, renewing my visa, I've done, I've done everything that I have to do. I've done everything I can do. I, you know, I've assimilated in so many ways, gotten my French driver's license, which isn't even required, but I'll throw in here as a little bonus. Like I've, I've, I'm doing what I can to make sure that I qualify. It's, it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna get it. I'm not worried about it. I actually feel really good. I feel really confident. I'm, I'm really excited. Like I'm really excited today because I feel like I've got momentum building after a really, really long journey to get here, to get to the point where I actually get to pull the trigger and launch and give it a try and see what happens. It's really encouraging because like, I, it's been stressful just to get everything organized, but now that I'm on my way, I really feel like things are gonna come together. And um, I feel very excited about the prospect of being able to stay here forever. I'm lucky that I have the ability to go back to the States if I ever need to, but to, solidify my position here to never have to worry that I might get kicked out that they might just opt not to renew my visa one year or make me jump through some hoops or just that that's a huge stress off and like I feel the stress lifting already just by having finished some of these steps that were looming over me until now so I can only imagine how good it's gonna feel to get all these steps completed and I cannot wait and I really hope but I cannot wait to get my French citizenship and then this life that I've been building here, reestablishing myself and restarting everything will actually be as secure as anything can be in life, right? But hey, I'll be able to vote. I'll be able to travel places on a French passport. Cooper won't be the only one in my life with a French passport. I'll have one too. Yeah. Oh, you're a sleepy bubba. You're a sleepy bubba. Anyways, gotta go mail this stuff.